Hello and welcome to this semester of EDUC 603 Evaluation of Student Learning. My name is Greg Sherman and I am the instructor for this class and I'm really happy to be teaching this class this semester. This class is one of the most valuable classes that any teacher or any professional educator can take. It, it provides skills, knowledge, and hopefully instills attitudes that really comprise one of the very important aspects of being a professional educator, and that is evaluating student learning. Or to be more precise, I should say this is really about assessing student learning. Um, and during the first week of class, you're going to learn a little bit about what the difference is between that. Um, but it's a very, very relevant class for anybody who is currently practicing as a professional educator or is studying to become an, a professional educator soon, which I know encompasses um, everybody in, who's enrolled in this, in this section of the class. Um, in the class, you're going to learn some skills regarding how to evaluate e existing assessment instruments. That's very important because as educators, you're going to be presented with a lot of existing resources and you're going to have to make decisions about the value uh, and the quality of those resources. So there, there's that. The course is also designed to help you construct your own assessment instruments that are valid, reliable, and fair using the most um, scientifically sort of uh, supported, most, most evidence-based rules uh, possible for creating good assessments. And then finally, the course is going to focus on what to do after you implement an assessment. That is, you'll collect some data and knowing what to do with that data. Or you'll be given data from some other place, like perhaps a, a report from the Department of Education, and you'll have to try and figure out what all of that means and figure it out for yourself, for your learners, as well as other stakeholders like parents who might be interested in having a, a better understanding of what some of, that, some of that information means. So it's a very, very important course. The skills are, are highly, highly applicable to professional educators. Um, the text for the course is written by James Popham, who is really an, has been an expert in this field for half of a century. And the book that we're using for the course is, is I'm, I'm, I'm a really big fan of it. It's very well written. It's very applicable to, to, to teachers. It's less heavy on theory and much more heavy on actual practice. And it's written with, with evidence and intelligence and, believe it or not, um, quite a bit of humor. Um, Dr. Popham is quite a, a humorous uh, person. I've, I've had the pleasure of seeing him in person um, c d discuss issues related to assessment and also reading many of his works. And it's very refreshing to have somebody who has a, a genuine um, sense of humor um, goes a long way. At least it does for me. And I hope you feel that way as you work through uh, the material that he presents in the, in the book. And I will say this, a, a good amount of the information that, and examples that are sort of, sort of frame this course are presented in the course text. You, you will see when, I, when, when, you, when you get into the course website that I provide you with, a, um, with some course notes that align directly to each of the course objectives. But, um, and, and, and a, a really good guide for developing effective assessment items. I use that guide regularly in my own practice. Um, but, uh, um, but also, um, but again, the, the course text provides a lot of the important information for the course as well. And um, speaking of how I use the assessment guide, uh, let me just take a moment to explain a little bit about my, myself as, your, as the faculty for this cor course. Um, I've been working at Radford for about um, 15 years now, and I teach courses in assessment, courses in instructional design, courses in um, the use of technology or technology resources in education. And all of those things are, are, are actually very much related to what professional educators do in their jobs um, which is ultimately to influence and affect uh, learning. 
the learning of students. So I've been an educator uh, my whole professional life. I started as a junior high school science teacher. I taught ninth grade biology, so it was high school biology for most of my 10 years. And that's where I learned how to become a, a teacher. I've been in higher education for nearly 25 years teaching courses in instructional design and assessment and, um, and learning. Um, but I also practice as a consultant primarily in the areas of assessment and evaluation. I have conducted program evaluations in the last 10 years for the National Science Teachers Association as well as UNICEF and the World Health Organization. I've developed um, assessment instruments for both, all of those organizations, implemented them, collected data on them, and then used the data to help inform um, some of the decision making for those organizations as they, as they attempt to help uh, their constituents learn important things. And, um, and if you ever want any more information about the kinds of things I do kind of professionally as an assessment and evaluation expert, I, I'm very happy to share any of that um, with you. So, and perhaps I'll put some links on my, on my About Me page on the course website. Um, so, and speaking of which, uh, in just a few moments, I'm going to fade out of this and, and, and provide, and then provide you with a, um, a short, very brief overview of the course website and some of the, some of the important things to pay attention there. And then after that, you, you're going to be taken, you'll, you'll, you'll click a link and go to the week one assignments for, for this week. And you actually have three things that you need to try to accomplish this week. One is going to be um, uh, locating an assessment or some kind of testing instrument that you like that, that is something that's applicable to your current professional teaching position or your soon-to-be uh, professional teaching position where you hope to be in it soon. Um, and you're going to post that along with some information about yourself and we're going to use that information to help us learn more about everybody else in the class and provide some kind of social context for the group of people who are going through this shared experience together this semester. Um, also, you may end up using the assessment that you select for the project. You may end up using that as um, in one of the subsequent projects for the course. So it's, it's, a, it's a good exercise to do. You'll also um, need to read the introductory chapter to the course text by Popham. That's chapter one. If you have yet to receive your textbook, I will post chapter one online on the course website. So you'll have that um, for you to use. Um, and then there's also um, um, some review and reflection questions that I want you to uh, complete and then also submit that uh, before next week. And that's just to help get you oriented to the course text and to some of the big ideas for the course. So those are the things that you're going to be doing um, this week as well as um, I'm going to provide some basic overview information for the course online in one of my some of, well, on, in a couple of um, overview lecture pages and I'll also present a short video on some of the important concepts from the first part of this course, from chapter one of this course. So uh, stay tuned for that. That's buried somewhere else in the course website. But for now, let me just provide you with an overview of the course website before you then go out and complete the, the learning more about what's, uh, what, what you need to accomplish in this first week of class. Well, if you're watching this video right now, you've already managed to navigate to the course website, of course. It's got a simple address. I'm on Weebly because I have a much easier time authoring a distance learning course in this kind of an environment than I do in, a, in, in the more, um, I'll say convoluted, but there are other words I could use to describe authoring inside of D2L, which is Radford University's learning management system. I've been, I've been working in distance learning for a long time and I have learned the value of using a simple interface as simple as possible for myself as a developer as well as for my students. So um, I think you'll find the interface for the course in Weebly a lot easier to use than D2L and a lot easier to navigate and a lot easier to interact with. So this is what I'm using uh, for now. And on the homepage, you probably already identified that I have a space to provide some 
some announcements and I will be posting new information and new links to assignments every, well, almost every week on Wednesdays for this class. But um, some of the other information that I want you to be aware of is under the syllabus menu, we have information about the, the course, general course information. There, there's me and my office hours by appointment. I have some information about the course text, which you hopefully have had a chance to obtain by now, or at least get on the way of, of obtaining it. I list all of the things that are going to be graded for the course, exams, projects, and review questions, and I have the grading scale uh, listed for you. It's a real simple ABC graduate grading scale. And not all my classes are the simple ABC scale. Some of them are the A, A minus, B plus scale, but for this class, there's um, there aren't a lot of assignments compared to some of my other courses, and so the grading scale can be a lot more simplified, I think. Um, as I've indicated in all the course materials, this class officially ends on May 3rd. There is no final exam. There is a final project, and that will be due on May 3rd. And I have some information about students with disabilities on this page as well. So if you have any questions of a general nature about the course, please contact me. I have a file that uh, about myself, a little bit more about myself. If you've ever taken any of my classes, then you'll know that I use this multimedia platform called Spark to present some um, kind of multimedia information. And some of you, if you're in, so in, you're in my 620 class, you're learning how to use this to help you um, well, help you communicate some, some things. There's, there's me and my lovely family. And um, so you can learn a little bit more about me if you are so inclined to. That's all in the syllabus. The course calendar is listed on the syllabus. And uh, this calendar, I, I will update it at least once throughout the semester, if not more. I included a copy of this in the paper syllabus that I emailed you, or rather the, the paper file, I should say. And right now it looks pretty good, but things can change. Uh, sometimes students have trouble with a particular project or, or a particular chapter and we have to push exams back or, or something. So please know that the calendar might change and when it does I'll send an email, but it will be reflected only online. I won't be sending another calendar as an attachment. You'll notice in April, most of April is open for you to complete your final course project. So that's why there aren't um, that. I'll probably post a, an April announcement that will pretty much uh, online that will pretty much finish out that um, the announcements. Another thing related to the syllabus is a listing of the specific course objectives. And this is actually a really important page of information. Because if you want to know what is addressed on each of the exams, then that, that information is clearly communicated in the course objectives. I will not um, assess you or test you over anything that is not explicitly stated in these objectives. If I do, then you are eligible to, um, or you are certainly within your right to discuss it with me. And, and frankly, I think you're eligible for some kind of rebate if I try and assess you over things that are not indicated here. That is on the exams. So um, not sh sure at all how you might accomplish a rebate, <laughs> but I will support you in it nonetheless. So this is a very important page and these objectives are, are set and this is what you'll be learning how to do, um, well, at least formally through the notes, lectures, and exams. Other things will be applied in the course object or in the course projects. And as a matter of fact, some of those objectives I indicate in, um, in italics um, in the objectives. Those, you, you will not have a course item over that, but they will be measured within the projects. So please know that that is the case. And some of these might change slightly, but if they do, I will communicate it to you absolutely clearly. Now I have a link that includes some information that, uh, of a lecture format and I will include that on these pages. I'm still working on the very beginning uh, lecture for the course. Actually, now that I think about it, I think this, <laughs> this video is going to be included on this page. That's why I'm still working on it because you're watching me work on it. 
Um, if I go to another part of the um, of the the lecture information, you'll notice that this is actually a page with text-based information and pictures. So um, so no no video on this, but very important information to be reviewed by you. So I will reference uh, when to access the lectures when I when I uh, post the weekly assignments. Speaking of which, um, you'll notice that the way I have my screen set up right now with its resolution, I have a more button here that will list the other menu um, menu sort of areas. Yours might look a little different depending on what size your screen is. So when I when I hover over the more, I get to the weekly assignments, and right now just the week one course intro is posted there. But this will be a place where every week I will post. Um, some information about assignments until we get to the end of the near the end of the course when you have a, a month-long assignment. I also have a menu er, a menu area that provides information for all of the projects. And right now, I'm I've only posted information for the very first, very simple getting to know you project, and that is the about me assessment. That's something that you're going to be accomplishing um, this week. So the information is there, and that information will link you to. Um, a submission form where you will submit your uh, assignment work and you'll probably notice I'm using Google as my um, submission form. So I do that a lot. I try to use tools that teachers can have access to um, readily in their practice. So um, and you'll see that th throughout the course. Uh, I also have a page uh, that lists all the course resources and right now what the resources include are, I have got an entire uh, PDF file with all the notes for the course aligned to those objectives. Um, many of the objectives also align to an assessment development guide that I have created. This is the equivalent of, say, two months worth of notes that you would take if you came to class and had to listen to me. Um, or I should say, got, got to listen to me, got to watch me perform the information. Uh, go, this information will also be summarized in some of the videos throughout the course. Now, I also include Chapter 1 from Popham because it's due this week, and many of you may not have your books yet. And if you don't, I have included Chapter 1. Hopefully, I won't have to include Chapter 3, which will be next week's assignment. Hopefully, you'll all have your book by then. Um, also, I have some weekly reflections that you need to complete and submit to me. And those will be submitted through D2L, but here you can download the files. These are all Word documents, and you could type right in the document. Um, some of them ask kind of reflection or review questions, and some of them ask you to expound upon certain things. And many of them ask you to uh, communicate any problems or issues that you're having with the information. I'm also going to be um, including some important evaluation-related websites on this um, on our resources page, and this will grow as we go throughout the semester. So that's an important page for the course, and again, that's located under resources. I have a, a page called Students, and this is where I'm going to post information about you. After you submit your first About Me assessment assignment, I'm going to take some of that information and, and post it on this page so that you can... Uh, so that everybody in the class can view a little bit of information about everybody else. And so um, and so that will be uh, posted on there. And finally, there is a link to D2L. And uh, I will use D2L for this class for three main purposes. One is going to be to communicate your grades. So I will do all the grading and providing of feedback within D2L. Uh, you can also use D2L to help you uh, or as a place for you to submit your assignments. So even though I showed you earlier um, that you're submitting one assignment, your About Me assessment, you're submitting this through um, a form that I created in Google, that's only, that's only for this one. Your formal ass assignment, the big ones, the papers will be submitted in D2L, and you'll be able to receive feedback from me about your project in D2L as well. Um, and finally, D2L will also be used. Let me go back to the general course information here. It will also be used to deliver the two course the two course exams that we will have in this class. So 100 of the 300 points, or one third of this course, is, is the is the result of how well you perform on the course exams. So that will all those will also be delivered in D2L. Those will be timed exams. Um, 
Most of the items are going to be um, selected response items, so you'll get you'll be able to know how well you did right away. Uh, there are a few items on those exams where you have to type in some responses, and so it's going to take me a few days to grade everything. But that will be the other thing that we use D2L for. So that is the an overview of the website, and you'll probably get used to navigating to this every Wednesday to view the current announcements as well as the uh, weekly assignments in detail, including lecture information and that kind of thing. So I look forward to working with you this semester. And, um, and now you can select the week one assignments button and get started with some information, or you can continue to read about information that will lead you to what is due for this week. <laughs>